welcome back to my channel today i am doing a short drape a double pinched drape so i am going to take you through that here i have my fabric and the length of the drape should be 29 inches so i went ahead and i cut with allowances and my piece of buckram is ready so I found the center of my fabric and the center of the buckram I am going to align those and now I am going to turn over one inch and then I am going to pin that in place so I'm going to measure one inch mm -hmm. All right, so I'm measuring one inch and I am pinning one inch and pinning this in place. All right, so having pinned the one inch in place, I am now going to baste that. So I'm basting. All right, this is to hold the buckram in place. So here we have it. I have finished the basting. I removed the pins and now I am going to stitch this in place. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I'm finished stitching that. I removed the basting thread. See what it looks like now on the right side. And now I'm going to turn this over so that the buckram is covered. So I'm going to turn this over and I am going to pin in place. Alright, so I, I don't need any measurements here. I'm just going to turn over to cover the buckram. And I'm just going to pin that in place. But I've finished pinning the buckram in place. I'm just going to baste this under. And then I'll show you again when I am finished with that. So I'm just going to baste this to hold it in place. And once I've finished basting it, then I'll remove the thread, the, the pins, sorry. And this basting is going to hold this section in place until I have put in the pleats and completed the drape. My buckram is four inches, so I'm using a four inch buckram in this. It's a short drape that I'm doing for a short window. So when it's completed, it's going to be about 29 inches. 
All right, so here I have finished basting the buckram in place. I am going to turn this around now in order to measure to get the length that I want. So I want 29 and a half inches. So I'm going to measure from the top to 29 and a half inches. And then I am going to pin this in place. All right, you will notice that there's a large piece left off here. This is going to be my hem, and the hem can be three to four inches. So I am going to turn under, stitch, and then I'll come back and show you how much. For now, I am basting 29 and a half. I'm pinning rather 29 and a half inches. All right, so here I have finished the hem. I put in a three inch hem. There you have it, and I am now going to turn my attention to the side. All right, so my, when I turn over to where the buckram is, I have three inches, so I'm going to measure all the way down and pin three inches in. Then I'm going to turn over half inch, pin and baste to get the side the side should be one and a half inches so i'm going to be coming back all the way to one and a half inches all right so here i am having measured pinned basted i have now stitched one side this measures one and a half and i have finished the other side one and a half inches then next i'm going to turn my attention to showing you how to put in the double pinched pleats all right so my sides are done now and i'm at the top again where the buckram was basted in now i'm going to be putting my double pinch pleats in or the allowance for them and the spaces so my space is going to be four inches. So I'm going to measure and I'm using a pencil to mark. I'm just using a dot. So I put four inches in, then three inches for the pleats, four inches for space, three inches for pleats. And I'm going to dot that all the way out. So I put in dots at the top of the buckram and I'm doing the same thing for the bottom as well. So four inches for the spaces and three for the pleats and I'm going to do that right across. So four for space, three for pleats. Space, three for pleats. Cool. All right, so I'm using a thin line just to join my dots so that I can baste this quite easily. And I'm, I'm just doing one side where the dots are so that makes it easier for me to work with. Having done that, I am just going to align my dots. So I align my dots and I'm just going to Pin this together and baste. Right, so having done that, I have aligned, I have pinned. Now I'm just going to baste 
from the bottom of the buckram right up to the top. And that is where my stitch line is going to fall. And I'm going to continue for each, each one. All right, so I just stitched the pleat pockets in place and I had marked the center of them before with a dot, top and bottom. So what I'm going to do now is just crease each one right where I have the dots, all right? And that is going to form the double pinch pleats. All right, having done that, that is where the double pleat comes in. And I'm just going to briefly pin that. I am going to measure three and a half inches from the edge of the pleat I'm going to make a dot, I do that twice, and then I'm going to stitch this across to hold both pleats in place. All right, so mm -hmm. here I have it. I have sewn now the pleats in place, and this is what the finished thing looks like. All right, so the final thing now, having put in all the pleats, we would now measure and pin the pleats in place to press them down. All right, so the first pleat at the front, I went ahead and measured five inches, and then the one at the back, five inches as well. So I would subtract 10 inches from the total width and the total width I had was 39 inches. So when I take out 10, I am left with 29 inches and this would be divided between these pleats and spaces. So it would be four spaces now to divide the 29. So each space would be seven inches and a quarter. So I went ahead, measured, and pinned all of that in place. And having done that, then I could now press, and I would steam that. I got some spray starch to measure and steam that down and get it in place. This is what the finished product looks like when the pleats have all been steamed in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video coming soon.